how do you feel right now? The very, that's a very rare question for me to ask anybody prior to a game, but, you know, this is a big <laughs> game for you and maybe for your career, Ben. It is. Um, it, it's a big game. It's it's any time I have been so blessed. The Lord has blessed me in so many ways, but to be able to play in front of the, the greatest fans in sports at Heinz Field, so – Anytime you play at Heinz Field on Monday night against the Browns, it's always emotional. It's always a lot of fun, and it's exciting. And, you know, you and I are talking on a day after you just uh, met with the media who hit you literally right as soon as you hit the microphone about this potentially being your last game at Heinz Field. And I'm wondering what right. goes through your head when you hear that question. You know, it's like I told them, I, I never I never like to speak in guarantees or definites, um, but, you know, signs are pointing to it being the last one. Um Obviously, there's still the, the outside chance craziness. I know some things have to happen that we could get another um, game at Heinz Field. But but in terms of regular season games, um, you know, this is this is probably going to be it. And I'm I'm just um, I'm excited for it. And I'm I just want to all I want to do is win the game. That's all that matters to me. No, I know. And it's, it's kind of bizarre or awkward that there is so much more football potentially left for you to play this year. And we're mm-hmm. all talking about the end of maybe your career. And I'm wondering right. how you work all that in together. My only focus is this game. You know, I think the reason it's bigger new, I mean, I played 18 seasons of won over 90 football games in Heinz field. And so for it to be the potential last regular season game, I think that's why it's talked about so much, but my, my singular focus is going to be winning this football game um, because, uh, one, because it could be my <laughs> the last regular season game, but because it's the Browns, it's crunch time. We have to win this game. Um, you know, we have to win out to get to the postseason, and even then it's not guaranteed. So um, it can be talked about right now, but, but my focus is doing everything I can to win this football game. You know, and you're from Ohio, obviously. You're from Miami of Ohio. And it seems like you have, in your career, saved something special for Ohio teams. Is that fair to say, Ben? <laughs> well, you know, you always want to play well against the teams from your from your home state, uh, especially when the one of them didn't, you know, kind of passed on you in the draft. That always sits in the back of your head a little bit. I love it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that has been something you fire yourself up with because they didn't take you years ago for real uh, yeah you know there's a lot yeah there's a lot of teams that obviously i went 11 so there's 10 other teams that passed on me but it, it, you know and so i, I any, anybody would tell you that i know that you know brady talks about being you know waiting until the later rounds get picked and the motivation i mean everyone finds some sort of motivation in sport and i think for me it's just the fact that um you know, they, they supposedly needed a quarterback, but I'm, I'm from Ohio a couple hours, like literally away. I went to school in Ohio, it, you know, but I'm, listen, at the end of the day, I'm very glad I ended up where I am. Of course. And, you know, you've <laughs> won championships there. And then the question is, is what about this year? Um, you know, for Steeler fans to see one game, you guys look like world beaters. And the next day you're getting beat down. Uh, what, what to what do you owe that, Ben, when you think about Man, it this year? I, I don't know. It's, I wish I had the answer. Uh, you know, it's, um, it, it's been a unique season, obviously coming in, knowing you've got the hardest strength of schedule. You've got a new kind of offense, new coaches, a lot of new players. Um, you know, the guys up front, we've got four rookies up front. We've got a, a free agent at guard and that this is just at the beginning of the season, right? We've, we've dealt with a lot of injuries, which a lot of teams have, but I just think that there's been so many variables that are out of our control, which is what life in the NFL is. But uh, I don't know that answer. I wish I, I wish I did. So on Monday Night Football, as you are going through the game, and obviously you hope to win it and play more there this year, what what are you going to do in the last couple minutes of that game, win or lose? Do you think, Ben? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, I'm we're, we're winning, and I can sit there and enjoy it and reflect on. Um, you know, the game and, and the season and, and the games that I've been able to play there um, because I've had so many great memories there. I've played with so many great football players uh, in front of, like I said, the best fans of sports. And uh, I have been truly blessed um, to, to be there. I got to tell you, it's yeah. kind of funny. I was thinking about this today before you and I got on the phone, Ben. Uh, I, I thought about the first time I interviewed you and it was before the draft and you were on the set of NFL Network in Los Angeles. You had not yet been drafted and people were trying to just figure out 
you know, who you are and what you can be and what you can do in this career. And not many people had seen you play, quite frankly, in college, right? And now mm-hmm. here we are talking before what could be the end of your last game at Heinz Field. And I'll be honest, this kind of feels like an exit interview right now between the two of us. I don't know well, if that feels the same way to you. It's been a long time between, between those interviews. Um, right. It's been a lot of great – I think it's been a, a pretty darn good career for both of us, so I think something we both can be proud of. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I, I just remember, you know, you say you were going to wear the number seven. And I'm I'm wondering if things turned out the way that you, you know, if I had told you sitting there in that day on the set of NFL Total Access, what would happen? Is this is this what you would dreamt of, Ben? Gosh, I mean, I think it was always my goal to win championships. Um, I've been blessed to win two of them. Um, and, and I don't know. I mean, people ask me all the time, gosh, if back then, if you would have said you would have played 18 years, would you have believed it? And, and, and probably not. I mean, that's a long stinking time um, to, to play this game. But, but like I said, I am I am truly blessed and, and thankful for the opportunities that I've been been given. OK. And so what do you want fans of the Steelers to know before the end of uh, this interview, before this Monday night football game against the Browns, where the season is still on the line for you right. in what? could be again as you say is probably your last game in front of them in that stadium well what do you want to you know it's 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 it i'm i'm going to give everything i have i always have um you know whether we're we're down by 20 at that with minutes to go in the game or you know, i'm always going to fight and give everything i have and so uh i'm going to enjoy every moment of this but but I, to me there's still work to be done and, and i'm gonna do everything i can to get that work done hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here